Hello people, this is back from Power Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the US tech stocks. We're going to take a look at the Magnificent 7, uh, starting off with Apple. So if you want to take a look at the long-term count of the 7 stocks, then uh, I will leave you popping up um, the video where I go over a few different counts for the longer term. And uh, today we're going to start from the daily, but we'll most likely drop quickly into the intraday um, as it's Monday, the August, uh, 12th of August, and uh, the market opens in about three hours. So as of today, as you can see, Bitcoin is already at 58,000. So it closed uh, with a strong week, strong close for Bitcoin. Uh, but uh, right, you know, the night between Sunday and Monday, it already started to, to move back lower. And uh, it's not looking great for the bulls. Now, uh, again, we could close for Apple, strong close, uh, but we could, you know, as you know, it all could also happen that all these gains will be erased. However, as you can see, I'm pretty bullish on Apple, uh, as I also cover on the longer term video. And uh, here, simply, um, I mean, as of right now, it looks, it appears like a three wave move, doesn't it? A, B, C. Now, it's all a question of, is it completed? Now, for Apple, um, considering my count, so a 1, 2, 1, 2, uh, this would be ideal. This kind of here would be ideal. We found support right here, which is where we you'd expect support, also near the area of the previous four, as well as we found support on top of $200, which is very important. Now, going into the one-hour chart, uh, obviously, if you want to count this as impulsive, uh, you need to look for something like this, a one, two, and upside. So this could be one, two, uh, again, a one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So, you know, it, if you're looking at this series of overlapping waves, then you most likely need to uh, be, again, pretty, uh, this could also be moved one degree lower, to be honest. So let's do this, let's do this as, uh, sorry, micro. This here in uh, blue, and here a one, two, one, three, four, five, three, four, five. So something like this. Uh, so you know, if, if you're looking for this kind of extensions, then you need to be pretty bullish. Uh, I will pop everything here. Let's see. Okay bullish of two. Uh, by the way, if you want to stay updated, then I uh, highly recommend you subscribe as well as there's a red Discord um, link is down below. And once again, it's absolutely free. Uh, you can share ideas, chat in there. I'm trying to go a community, obviously, absolutely for free. So one, two, this could be like one, two, because I see one, two, three, four, five, two, um, maybe in three, four, five, so three already here. But you, you get the point. The point is we need to uh, don't start to fall back lower uh, because of this overlapping structure. Otherwise, it's going to turn into some sort of a three-wave move and then we'll fall back lower. Now, to have additional confirmation, especially for the longer term, um, we need to break, I mean, ideally, we need to break here at the top of wave B, which as usual, train view likes to move my waves. Um, let's see what happens if I lock them. It's gonna be interesting. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the way I see it. Um, a, B, C here also looks like one, two, three, four, five, A, uh, B, C. Um, let me show you. That's the way I would count it, to be honest. Sorry about that. Something you add. And let's do this, because I always get. Okay. So that's one way to look at it. That's the way I'm going to look at it until the market proves me wrong, which it might. And uh, yeah, key takeaway, um, the way I see it is we need to, we can keep our overlapping, but we need to move 
continue higher. And the 220 here, yeah, 220 is going to play a big role. Uh, we need to find support also on top of 220. Uh, because as you can see here, if we draw a line at 220, there you go. Here, 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 here. So we need to start to find support on top of 220. That's pretty important for the overall upside. Uh, so that's Apple. Amazon, uh, sorry, Microsoft, once again, if you want to take a look at the longer term account, uh, then go. I recommend you check out the video. As you can see here, three of you likes to move uh, my waves. Oh, I hate that. Okay, so here, uh, a bit more conservative because of, um, especially the initial move down here, we haven't retraced all back as, as much. And uh, I mean, this is not an easy thing to count, is it? Um, I'm looking at the wave A, as also the longer term count suggests, we are due something larger. And uh, here, so let's count it together as usual. One, two, uh, zoom in. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two. Three, four, five could it be, or one, two, one, two. Um, yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, three, four. It's not an easy one, gonna be honest. Uh, you could count it as, let's see, let's try the two, one, two, three, four. Nope, that's not three, so maybe. Let's let's try with this and work the way up with this count. So let's see. And can I count five in here? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the reason why, let me show you. The reason why I don't see this as impulsive is because let's say you count it as one, two, three, four, five, right? So number one, you don't have alternation. Uh, this is sharp, this is sharp. So you don't have alternation between two and four. And most likely, and most importantly, here you overlap. Uh, so that's why I see this as a three wave move. I see this as one, A, B, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so some sort of complex here in four, which makes sense with sideways four and sharp too. So I would expect something like this. Uh, here on the move up, which is obviously something we care about. Uh, so let's see if we, there is a possibility for a leading diagonal. Uh, yes, wave three is shorter than one, and five appears to be shorter than three. Yes, it is. So there is a possibility for a leading diagonal here. Um, Yeah, to be honest, this looks like it's going to depend on really what's going to come in the first days of the week here. Um, so I, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see this. Uh, but we could also continue higher from here. Uh, so we'll see. But if this happens and we find support here, so around just slightly below 400, then we may look for another bush eye. That's what I would do. Obviously, none of this is or was or will be financial advice. Just looking at the market using other way theory. Uh, Got to be clear. Uh, remember that, guys. I'm just uh, one of you. Um, so, one, two, one, two, three, four. Five. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, that's Amazon. So, Amazon, I did buy more on my long um, term uh, dividend growth portfolio because this I see as a three wave move. Um, as you can see here, uh, and uh, is it completed? Well, on the grand scheme of things, it could be completed. So wait, two could be here. I'm gonna be conservative, um, so I'm gonna say it's not, but it could. I remember that. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, similar to Microsoft, could be here. I like it more because. Uh, basically, you have a sideways two and a sharp four in the diagonal. 
So you have alternation there, which is nice. And it looks like it's more set to the upside. So a case for some sort of a one, two, three, four, five of this degree, obviously, one degree lower than this. And again, for the longer term, you need to break that point at 1890 on the wave B to have additional confirmation. Obviously not certainty, but confirmation. Um, let's move quickly. So a quick one on Meta, pretty simple. I've seen this as a potential triangle. It looks like it's confirming. Uh, we could either fall back lower and then do this, that's possible. Uh, and validation stands right here. If you wanna be conservative, I'm, I mean, this is like, if we break south of here, then I'm completely wrong. It's, it wasn't a triangle. What has happened? It wasn't a triangle in wave four. Um, here, if we break south of this, it means that this was in wave C. Um, so we'll see, but it looks like we might be due for, for their upside here. But again, this could happen down up. Um, yeah, that, that, that is possible. Keep that in mind, even though it looks like we might have gotten five ways up. So some sort of either one, two, three, one, two, an upside, or this could have been ABC and now we're falling back lower. Uh, we're gonna find out soon. Tesla, long-term triangle. Um, I won't go over it because it's been correcting for years. Um, and I do see uh, this as a long-term triangle. Go check out the previous video on the long, um, longer term chart if you want to know more. Uh, I would highly appreciate if you did. So I need your watch time. Uh, as I don't ask for any money in return. And here, a potential one, two, three. So I see this in ABC. To be honest, to be honest, actually. Oh no, A, B. Oh, five, yeah. Let's keep it this way. Well, um, here, similar thin. You could count five up. One, two, three, four, five. Let me show you. You can count as one, two, three, four, five, down. Um, yeah, so, uh, as, you, as you can see, they're pretty much all in a similar situation uh, with um, you know this, uh, uh, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple also. Just Tesla and Meta are a bit different. Uh, lastly, Google. Uh, Google here, as you can see, is a bit different. Um, and uh, it looks like either some sort of wave one or um, or A, remember, when it's, you know, like this, you never know if it's a wave one or A. Um, you gotta be aware of that. Um, I am, but obviously, um, you know, some of you may not. Um, so I gotta say that. Um, this could be some sort of ABC. And uh, now we could be headed higher from one leg higher. As usual, when you have something like this, when you don't know if it's one or two, which many, I mean, almost always you never know until you know. So you're always playing the guessing game. If you knew, you'd be rich, right? Um, so watch out for 0.618. As you can see here at 0.618, you also have a gap to fill. Um, and equality. And also equality here, as you can see, we have a gap to fill. Uh, those usually are the target where uh, you could get um, resistance. Um, so that being said, I think it's going to be it. Um, let me know, guys, if you have any questions, any requests down in the comments. I'll be happy to take them, as well as if you want to join the Discord and ask for, share your ideas, so on and so forth. As for uh, my opinion, um, well, I'll, I'll be more than happy to do so. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy the content. And uh, I will see you tomorrow.